Hello, my dear friends in Christ. How are you doing? God bless you. And I'm happy that we have met again. Today, let us discuss something very practical, something with a sense of humor. I remember one day I went to a shop here in Accra, and the attendant was asking me if I wanted another product I had not looked at. Then I told her, well, I don't think I have money to buy that one. He says, oh, but sir, um, you would like it. And I said, I didn't like it because I don't think I can buy it. But I bought the one I was there for. And just when I was leaving, she looked at me and said, do you have a card for this shop? Say said, yes, I've been coming here every day. I have a card. She looked at that card and says, sir, once you have bought something a little bit about above 100 CDs and you have our card, you deserve to have that one free. You know what? I had already lied that I didn't need it. But I wanted it just that I didn't have money. But when it was not given me, I was ashamed. I took it anyway and I enjoyed it. Please don't laugh at me yet. But I want to draw your attention to something. The book of Numbers chapter 11 verse 25 onwards. There were two young men who were not part of the 70 who had a prophecy when they were in a gathering and Moses were praying for them. And the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord seized them and they started prophesying. But there were two young men whose names were Eldad and Medad, meaning my uncle or the uncle from God. Or God is my uncle. They were not part of the gathering, but the Bible says they were still in the camp. They had not left yet. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of God seized on them, and they started prophesying, just as those who were selected, the 70. What is the key? The key is that if you can still identify yourself with Jesus as a family member, it doesn't matter your status in life. It doesn't matter whether you have been selected or not. I want to challenge you that if you can't be with Jesus, no matter what, what people are struggling for, you in the cool comfort of your corner will receive it. These two young men were not part of the selected 70, but they received the Spirit of God. Why? Because they were still within the camp. Go and cross-check from Numbers chapter 11, verse 25 onwards. They were still in the camp. Where are you? Where is your soul? Where is your spirit? Where is your mind? What do you, where do you belong? Are you leaving the church because you think that you are no one? Are you giving up because that particular gift of, of financial breakthrough, of a, of a child that you need, of a good relationship, of a good job, a good health? Are you saying that because you don't have, so you want to leave? There are people who have left the faith because of some of these things. Why? Because they are not in the camp. The truth is that if I had not gone into the shop, if I did not have their card, there was no way I was going to get that thing free. This is a trick. Remain in the camp of Jesus. Remain in the church where you are. Remain in your faith and still hold your card as a Christian in your heart and in your spirit. And I tell you that let those who are selected have their way. You will have yours. No matter what, the strong will suffer want. But we who trust in the Lord, we will lack nothing. This is what I came to tell you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know whether you feel inferior when it comes to class in society or whatever it is. All I want to tell you is remain within the family of Jesus. Hold your card still within the camp. You will have the Spirit seized on you. You will begin to prophesy and things will begin to work. I don't know what you want to prophesy about, but think about it. I believe and declare that God will make you who he wants you to be because you will remain a family member with a card. God bless you. Remain. Shalom. And I'll see you another time. God bless you.